Welcome to part three of Aerospace Propulsion Lecture 4. So remember that in steady level flight, power equals drag times speed. And we saw this in, or you saw this, I should say, in uh, aerodynamics and performance, right? That the power basically is, is force times velocity, so drag times flight speed. And we know that drag scales with velocity squared, so therefore we expect the power to, to scale with the velocity cubed. So we can see the power requirement raises rapidly with flight speed. So now I want to do a bit of a review of the basic operating principles of spark ignition engines, which is maybe a review from your third year applied thermodynamics course. Um, so we'll look at sort of the real world versus ideal cycles and metrics for quantifying performance today. So here's a schematic illustration of a real spark ignition uh, engine cycle on a PV diagram, so pressure versus volume diagram. And what we can see is that we can see the four strokes, right? So there's the, the intake or induction stroke where the volume's increasing um, and we're at the lowest pressures uh, in the cylinders so to pull air in. Uh, then the intake valves close and we do the compression stroke. There's typically ignition happens just before uh, compression ends, uh, then we start expanding, uh, very high pressure, this is where we're now doing useful work um, as the cylinder gets, uh, volume increases again, and then the exhaust valve opens, and the volume, as the volume decreases, the pressure drops. So what loss sources can you think of that differentiate a real spark ignition engine uh, from an ideal model. Take a minute and think about this uh, before you move on to the next part of the video. <laughs> 